Okay. Looks like that is that. Talk about when the official has gone live. Whoa, it did? Whoa. Has it gone live on mine? Oh, I can hear myself mute. <laughs> I hate hearing myself, man. <laughs> I think that's how it is for like everyone who does any type of content where they talk. Oh yeah, because you it's just a natural thing. You don't like the sound of your own voice. Yeah. I listen to my voice way too often as voice, well, I talk The voice of yours you know is the one you hear, so when you hear it back on a recording, it's like, that's what I sound like? That's horrible. Yeah. And it's like, that's how everyone hears me? Oh god. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we're just gonna chill and wait for some people to show up. This, this usually takes a bit. Yeah. Well, I've got until I get a doorbell ring or a phone call, so... Uh, right. That, it, it shouldn't take too long. In theory. But that's just a theory. A no. Bakugan theory. No. Thanks for watching. No, we're not doing this. Okay, apparently we got six people watching it. If one of them is me from Streamlabs, that's five people, four besides Bailey... Hi. One Probably of them is me too. So. It's karmic. <laughs> right, people in chat, sound off. <laughs> Waiting. Waiting. A two's here. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hello. Yeah, I'm actually going to turn your volume up on my end. There we go. Say something, A2. Uh, I just got closer to my mic, so that might help. Yes, it, it should help, and I put you up to 200, so... Ooh. We should be good. And Ren's in. Right. Not in actual voice chat, but he's present no. in the chat. I was like, oh, this is a first. Oh. Yeah, it, 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 it would be a first. Ren, you should join voice chat at some point. And then Keese is also in chat as well. Let's see. I'm going to pull something up from the wiki real quick before we get started. So, yeah. Welp, someone in a Sacramento just found a Garg Ultra and a Cindy Diamond... Both diamonds, sorry. Yeah, I gotta figure. Uh, but that is something we will discuss. So, I figure at this point we should get ourselves started. Uh, so, for the people in uh, chat right now, uh, we've got a little bit of a different cast right now. It's uh, myself and Karmic. So, Karmic's here. Right. A2 is here, but he's currently out at the moment. And then we actually have someone new joining us today for a brief moment. Uh, Bailey of the Baku Nerds. Yep, hi. You'll know me if you're ever on Reddit. Yeah, yeah she's one of the uh, Reddit moderators as well. So, just hanging out for a little bit. And the worst Max are closer in the world. <laughs> and we'll talk about that. Anyway. Of course you will. Anyway, how's everyone's day been? Ugh. Boring. I've been editing videos. I I really need to get on that. I want to start YouTube back up again. I want to start streaming, like, personal streams on, on I, Twitch. I, I want to do that. I used to have a sub button on <coughs> Twitch for card games. I do, like, IRL card games with friends. Mm -hmm. And then I just stopped for a while. And, and now I want to get your, back into and, it. And then your Twitch partnership died. No, so... We shared the account of the three of us, and then they ended up ghosting me. And um. the authenticator was on one of their phones. So rip. But oh. I controlled all the social media. So it's just like, nothing has happened with that account. So it's a dead account. Well. Yeah. That's enough. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be setting up my stream stuff later, though. Yeah. I know I need to do that when, like, uh, summer starts kicking into full gear, because... Uh, it's already summer here. It's yeah. like 85 degrees right now. It's it was, too it was like uh, like mid-60s here. Yeah, but this and is Southern California, a.k.a. the, the planet. 
literally everyone in my area calls it when it's hot the devil's anus. Uh, yeah, As someone it... who's lived in South Florida his entire life, um, yeah, no, it's been 80 degrees since like always. And then I mean, we can in, in Texas. March. Excuse me. Yeah, you're in, and then you're in Texas. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Did you ask how hot it is? Uh, like, what, how's weather around you? Uh, at my hometown, it's a, more of a dry heat, so it's, uh, just plain heat at, like, 90 to 100, but right now it's 76 slash 80 and humid where I am and miserable. Uh, yeah, and then I'm sitting up here in Illinois in, like, the mid-60s. Like, low to mid 60s. You could just go away. Like, for the next couple days, it's supposed to be. Hi, like... guys, I will be your host from now on. Uh, Venomous Brass has been kicked from the show because he's uh -huh. in a cool club. Uh huh. No, I, I'm in Illinois. I'm in the state that cannot decide where the heck it wants to be. Because, just to give you an idea, it's going to be a high of 70 degrees over the next, like, few days. And then the day after that, it drops to, like, 50 and thunderstorming. Yeah. Yeah, we we have two like I guess I don't really know how to two types of weather. We have hot and we have rainy hot. Uh. Yeah. Anyway, there are things we can talk about today. So first let's get started with wave four. So, Wave 4 has been shown to be popping up in numerous places at this point. Like, it's popped up in, uh, in California, Oregon, some places in Texas, Arizona, stuff like that. CMO's uh, house. CMO's house. We'll get to that. Like, the general, like, things you would expect uh, early stuff to show up in, besides Canada. And then, uh, yeah, we've got a bunch of things coming up we have what we believe is the full set of core solos for wave four we've got pyrus mantanoid pyrus serpentes aquas gorthion aquas pegatrix that's a re-release chaos hydrus a re-release as well ventus tritonium there we go darkest cindius mm -hmm. orless trox and diamond cindius we're not exactly too sure on the ultra layout yet, but things we can reasonably assume, I assume these are assumptions, I don't think anyone's found them yet, are Pyrus Trox Ultra, Aquas Tritonium Ultra, Chaos Pegatrix, Ventus Webum, Darkest Garganoid, Darkest Serpentes, Orlus Krikelios. These are the ones we're sure on. We don't know about the diamond yet, but things we're going to talk about later point to the diamond in Wave 4 being... Uh, Pegatrix Ultra. So, let's see. The starter packs, we've gone over this at one point. There's a Dragonoid starter pack. And the reason... We used to have Pyrus here. But we don't have it anymore. Because we think there was there could have been a little error in the system. And this could be a Darkest Dragonoid. So, yeah. And then there's Pyrus Tritonium. Aquas Pegatrix. Ventus Tritonium. Darkest Gorthion, which we know has... Aqua Serpentes and Chaos Dragonoids, so I'm skipping that one probably. So, uh, real fast, Auralis pointed something out. On the back of the Pegatrix Ultra box that Ventus Knight opened, it confirms Pyrus Ultra Trox, Aqua Ultra Tritonium. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but we also didn't know the rest really. And then, uh, the Auralis Dragonoid starter pack, which you saw me unbox a couple weeks ago. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Lamar the Vaughn. Nope. Oh, I don't uh, know. He's, and he's gone. Not again. But yeah, uh, there's a picture here. We'll talk about that in a minute. And then the Diamond Cindius pack, which we have seen recently, includes Diamond Tertonium Core and Diamond Mantanoid Core. So nice. a little guess some of us had a while ago is correct. And then the uh, Darkest Gorthion pack, these contents, a uh, hardcore lector, I believe, got sent one of these. So, that's how we know the contents of those. Everything else is an unknown at the moment. And that is currently all of the Wave 4 stuff. It doesn't have any battle packs. 
So, now, uh, why are we discussing this? Well, it's begun popping up in various places. Right here is a little bit of, a, of an image, a photo, of a computer screen uh, of or the Orlis Dragonoid Starter Pack on Amazon. That's n that. I will admit that is where I got mine, and I'm Same. not. I'm not, 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 not a fan of them actually making it public. Yeah, appar apparently that's that's what happened. Though I don't know how that is. So, me having this early before a lot of other people really only lasted like. A few days. I was it say. taken off of the Amazon listing? No, so no, the listing was made searchable. No, I'm saying is it still up right now? It should, it should be. Up, oh, that is the wrong screen. There we go. Moment yeah. of silence for DM exclusive. Yeah, I am a sad. I am a sad that this is available, but whatever. Anyway. There's that, and then we actually have some cores popping up all over the place. And someone here, uh, this is uh, user Bluefeelin on the Reddit, found Darkest Sindius, and I assume got it. And then looking a few more, there's Ice Cold Baja Blast. Who got all the cores uh, minus the diamond and minus Orlis Trox, which is the one we really want to see, to be honest. What's his name again? The what? W what's his name again? What? Ice Cold Baja Blast. That's so great. Yeah, so there's Ventus Tritonium, uh, Pyrus Serpentes, Dark Ascendius, um, Aquas, Gorthion, and Pyrus Mantanoid. Just taking a little look here, you can see Ventus Tritonium Core is double helix, 502, and landing on a helix gives it plus 100 and plus 2. Pyrus Serpentes is Fire Fist and Fist, 601. Dark Ascendius is Fire Fist and Helix, 404, actually pretty decent. Aquas Gorthion is Shield, Fire Fist, 301, and its Victor Effect is Draw a Card. I've seen better. And then Pyrus Mantanoid is Shield Helix 502. And that's basically what they look like. Dark Ascendius is the only new core design, I believe. So, uh, at least right now. In the next wave, we should be getting, I believe, uh, Trino and Phaedrus. So, yeah. Uh, J. Allen... Jay Allen, we did that a couple. Uh, we did that a couple weeks ago. Wait, prototype Phaedrus? Oh. Uh, Ren, you keep adding things for me to look up. Jeez. Ren, I need to see this. I love Phaedrus. Uh, you're not gonna love the Ultra. Am I not? I'm gonna be sadness. Because the Ultra looks quite garbage. To be okay. completely honest. Okay, okay, I don't know where the prototype is, but Ren, this send the image. This is Phaedrus Ultra. Ah! Nobody thought it was Tico. Nobody thought it was Tico. But this This right that's, here That's disgusting. is a prototype Phaedrus Ultra. I think... It's not even gonna close. Now, honestly, Phaedrus Ultra looks... this Because this is it. It looks bad. I hate it. I hate Phaedrus it Ultra. It looks like it, what a Mantanoid would look like. It looks like it's garbage. Guys. And I stand by that. I'm excited to see but what anyway, the corner looks like. Here are all the stuff in their packaging. You'll notice that the Wave 4 stuff still has the Battle Brawlers branding, which is curious when you when you see what we talk about at some point which is okay so 
the Diamond Sindius has actually been popping up. But as far as we can tell, it's also been popping up with Diamond Garganoid Ultra in the same places. I usually don't see a Diamond Sindius photo pop up without a Diamond Garganoid being right next to it. It's really The one odd. that was just found in California and Sacramento did have the Sindius and the Gargoyle. Mm-hmm. So they've been sort of found twice. Uh, Ren, we're getting to that. Quit getting ahead. Jeez. Now, uh, if anyone saw the uh, unboxing of Darkest Webum on the Bakugan YouTube channel, it doesn't have the Battle Brawlers branding, and we know it's not part of Wave 4, so it must be Wave 5. Yeah, the Red Arena comes with... Uh, Pyrus Phaedrus core, but yeah, I'm not looking that up. People can go to wherever to see it. Anyway, uh, moving on, we also have Simo, who has gotten several bits of product. Uh, he has gotten a Diamond Cyndia starter pack, and we know from looking at this that it also includes the Diamond uh, Tritonium, and the Diamond Mantanoid. I believe in those particular spaces. So that's that's not bad. He also got a lot of other stuff too. For instance, Diamond Serpentis Ultra. And what's one thing to notice about it? No Battle Brawlers branding. Isn't that interesting? So that most likely means this is this is at least wave five making diamond pegatrix ultra one we haven't seen yet be the wave four and then we take a look over here this is the one i'm mostly interested in i just noticed it's a challenge one wow what that does not look like a challenge this one. is Oralis pyravian uh wave five bakugan most likely it is a challenge level one. Oh my god. That's amazing. Probably means it just has like a gimmick. I hope not. But yeah, this is uh, what it looks like a little closer. I am so looking forward to this. Jay Allen, you are a blasphemer. I want like 20 of these. It's it's so it's so good. I can't wait to just make a full collection of Pyravian. It looks fantastic. Oh, you have to man. get seven of each. Seven of each. Lucky seven. DM be like, I'll take your entire stock. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. And you're echoing. There you go. All right. Now, let's see. I believe that's pretty much all we really had here. You're still echoing, dude. Fix that. All right. Now, uh, what some people, if you've been around YouTube and the Bacosphere a little bit, you may have seen some people doing a one-handed closing challenge of, I'm leave for this part. of various Bakugan. Okay, I think we're good. Now, I'm going to just show some things on uh, Nilius here, because this is one I was challenged to do by Bailey. Hello! And Bailey did Maxator Ultra, which is fairly, fairly difficult, actually. So, yeah. Right. Now, the, the fun... I'm not dumb, I'm just stupid. Yeah. Yeah, Nilius uh, ain't the greatest for stuff like this. But yeah, I've, I've done a YouTube video of this. It's it's around. I keep wanting to use my other hand because this this hand here isn't cooperating, is it? 
No, it's not. Okay. Okay, I'm heading off. Uh, okay, peace out. Alright, so Bailey's out. Yeah. This this is isn't fun. If 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 you get challenged to this, enjoy. Cause it is it is suffering. Very much so. Like you'll even see right here, I'm just trying to do it passively. Ah, Josiah just came online on the Discord, so maybe he'll pop in in a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, say that because that's probably because you don't have a YouTube channel. <laughs> or if you do, none of us know what it is. I'm having issues. Elias. Elias. Hello. Thank you. You having fun there, DM? Uh, this, this is showing you just how much it sucks. It's a stupid hand! Oh wait, he does- of course Zeta has a YouTube channel, why else, how else would he be- Well, I don't even know if you could call it like, really like having a channel if you don't upload on it. That's true. Yeah. But yeah, you'll see that even just doing this live- when I've done- okay. Yeah, that's super annoying. I feel like I have to finish this now because I've started it. But yeah, very, very annoying. Uh, have you tried doing any of them? Either of you? No. No, I haven't done anything. No. It, depending on which one you try, it absolutely sucks. Oh, man, come on. This is, like, not working. Nilius is the one that was easy for me, like, with the darkest one. It was easier to do than my Chaos, and I've done the Chaos faster than this with this method. Jay Allen makes an excellent point. Bakugan Ultra are the new Rubik's Cubes. Mm-hmm. I'm actually getting super annoyed with this right now. I'm almost about to quit. Did any of you see that video of that kid who, like, solved... I think it was in China. He was, like, solving a Rubik's Cube... Like, three Rubik's Cubes while juggling them. Jesus. I mean, there's a formula... It was... For the odd number like, ones, so it's not that complicated. But it's, the juggling part's still pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's one side. Finally. And then this, that, and that. There we go. So I finally got that done. And I'll be honest, there are some, like our friend Fangzor here, who are a total joke to do. Like right there but one I'm interested in seeing that I actually haven't seen done yet is Tertonium it's a challenge level one that should be fairly easy to do I think so let's see uh, come on yeah not hard <laughs> Not hard at all. I feel like we should chat about more things. Yeah. So. Like before I get to the main event. Hmm. Man, where is everyone tonight? Oh. Like, I had a reason for. I saw you guys had fun last week. You were on Minecraft. Yeah. Yes, we were. Yeah, I, uh... I was in Orlando at Orlando Fest. <laughs> um... We won.
one for like high school, so that was cool. Nice. Anyway, once we get into the uh, the cards stuff, honestly, I think what I'm looking forward to with these cards is uh, like common evos. I think that's gonna be interesting to see, honestly. Uh, dogs going nuts. Great. There's a lot of rares on this mm -hmm. list. Wow. Oh my god, <laughs> these stupid dogs. Why are they barking? No idea what's going they on. They want to be on camera. Genuinely interested to see how Hydranoid will look on in ball form. Well, Someone's yeah, opinion. for Core, I'm very curious to see what Core looks like. But we know what the uh, we know what the Ultra looks like. And I've I've shown it before. It's this. This is Auralis Hydronoid Ultra. Nobody here quite knows exactly what the core looks like. But, yeah. Okay, apologies for that. I mean, there's some that don't even have, there's some existing background that don't have cores, like Krakelios. Krakelios, I mean, just... Garganoid, but what? They just may not have one. See, here's where the weird bit comes in. Diamond Hydronoid Core has a card. Oh, yeah, the card. Well, I guess that kind of puts that in the bunk, doesn't it? Yeah. This is this is the thing here, because so we have no idea when this is coming out. We don't know what it looks like. As soon as the website updates... We'll know. We'll know exactly what this looks like. I hope it's in the this quarter. It, it would it would have to be. The next set is releasing in a few weeks. Uh, I'm just not holding Spin Master to any of their promises at the moment, so we'll see. It happens when it happens. Yeah. Yeah, I really don't think there's even a uh, there's even any sort of plan. Like like a roadmap or something for the uh, website being updated. I would love one. I mean, still waiting on that card list. Mm. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Okay. They've done their work for them, but not for that. But yeah. Oh. Desktop reveal. Yes. Yes. Anyway. Yeah, we've got. The reason we think some of these car some of these are going to pop up, like we kind of figured that uh, Aqua Scorpion would be one. Uh, Aquas Mantanoid is probably in a starter pack. Um, yeah. Let's let's see some other ones. Okay, Aquas Tritonium Core we already have. Ultra is a starter pack already. Um, let's see. Um, Oralis Trox. There's one option. Native Shadow Strike. Which is, hey, pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Then... Uh, let's see some others. What do we got? Oralis Gorthion. Alright. Oralis Krakelios. So Gorthion's going to be a starter pack thing. Um, the diamonds don't count because they just have to have those cards in there. And yeah. pullable. Um... Darkest Dragonoid Ultra. This is the one specifically why we're thinking the uh, Pyrus starter pack was mislabeled. Because a Darkest Dragonoid Ultra Evo exists. And yet we had no record of a Darkest Dragonoid Ultra. So. Outside. What? Outside of Pyrus, it seems the Darkest Dragonoid is the one that's most common, like cards and art and everything. Which is mm -hmm. interesting to me. Yeah. Especially because they have that whole attribute swap in the show with, like, Dan and the characters, so... Mm. Uh-huh. And then we have our good friend, Gorteon Ultra. 
this poor darkest gorthion i swear uh the darkest gorthion oh. ultra the pack when we first found it was called darkest gorthium and now the card all of these are just misprinted gorthion it's a shame it's a real shame oh. gorshin <laughs> We have the uh, Darkest Hyper Pegatrix, which we have uh, seen that the Darkest Pegatrix was, it was actually last set, never mind. I'm, I'm stupid. All right. Uh, Darkest Serpentis Ultra. So that's a solo uh, Darkest Garg technically released last set. Uh, Darkest Cindius is a solo Mantanoid is in the Orlis Dragonoid pack. Moving on here. Uh, Sad Days, Cubbo is not Wave 4. No. Uh, okay, Jay Allen says he saw a misprint of a Ventus Gargonoid Evo and it had zero base B power. What? That's... Oh, that's, that's a Titan. That's a Titan. That's not a misprint. Yeah. That's that's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to have zero. This whole thing is why I'm putting it in a meme deck. That zero. Why? So let's see. Uh, taking a look up at the Chaos, I don't think there was much in the way of this besides Pegatrix Ultra and Gorthion Core. Uh, Gorthion Core doesn't have anything besides the Diamond. So yeah, that could be anywhere. Uh, it's probably a Wave 5 core solo. Um, and there's a Hyper Pegatrix Ultra, not bad. Um, let's see. Chaos Trox gets one. Uh, Pyrocyndius core has a diamond. But now I actually kind of want to see, does it have any other evos pyrus mantanoid and pyrus pegatrix we've already seen where they're from solo and starter pack uh pyrus serpentis solo solo uh pyrus tritonium ultra starter pack uh yeah oh oh someone tell that per person on r slash uh pyrus cindius core is probably a battle pack oh Oh, it's a battle pack in wave five. Ouch. That's a fat rip. Mm-hmm. Then for the Ventuses, I don't think there's really much here. Uh, Ventus Scorpion was was released. Scorpion Ultra was as well. Webum Ultra, yep, that's a thing. Um, that's a wave four. Uh, Ventus Tritonium Ultra is also wave four. Then we have just a few character cards I kind of want to see a Phaedrus Ultra card that's not a proxy <laughs> this yeah. is just super obviously proxy yeah. yes we yes we've seen Darkest Weapon Ultra's character card but we don't have a scan of it same with the Chaos Pegatrix uh Everything else we have on here we've seen and have some scan of it. But anyway, there are 165 cards in the Bakugan Resurgence set. And I just so happened to have 24 packs because my store got a restock. <laughs> Hey. Yeah. So. Does that mean it's time? It is time. It is time, and we'll just get right into it. If no one else pops up, this is probably going to be a fairly short one. Mm. Alright. Zeta, if you're still here, start the timer. Shut up. Christ. You guys are, like, horrible or something. Yeah. No, so, I just gonna, like running gonna, gags. Yeah, I'm gonna tuck that to the side. Uh, my store, I knew that it was getting uh, one of these, and it actually showed up on time. And I kind of figured that 
as long as it uh held true that any uh, booster pack restocks at this point were going to be of uh, resurgence. And I was correct. I just kind of expected it to come earlier to some stores. There's one store that has 13 left that I'm surprised hasn't gotten anything yet. Alright, first pack. Let's see what we got. Alright, we've got solar powered. Then Sonic Shield. You're echoing again. Alright. Oh, I am. A little bit. Uh, Aqua Splash. Web Snare. Is it going to be Action? Mind Slip. Then Flip. Yep. That is Flash Flood. Then for the rares, we have Spontaneous Combustion. Pirates attack for 4 damage and costs 4 energy. Uh, we have uh, Trick Trap. Chaos Flip. Zero cost player hero that costs 3 energies or less for free. For the rare, we have Crystal Quake. Or the super rare, I should say. And in the Hex, we have Mega Punch. Very nice. I'm looking forward to starting this set. Next one. Now, the, uh, uh, that's, that's a little tricky. Well, the display mine has, has it four Garganoid, four Gorthion, four Maxator, and then same set one more back. So that's just curious to me. So we're going to just open it like that. I already saw a nice little card. Oh, never mind. Uh, all right, Shatterfist. Then we have Web Snare again, uh, Sonic Shield again, Solar Powered again, Freeze, I think this one's new. Yeah, Stop a Bakugan holding a Fist Core. And then Constrictor. For the rares, we have Aquas Hyper Gorthion. That's, I think, the first Evo I pulled. Then we have. Uh, new hero, oh, Shargo Ronin. Uh, one cost, when you open a Bakugan, it gets plus 100 B-Power. For the rare... Ha! Second pack! Auralis nice. Titan Dragonoid Ultra. Oh, it's the super controversial card. Very controversial. Alright. I am thrilled with that. And then, oh my god! Hex, Hex Titan Gorthion Ultra. Oh my god. That's one of the BEs. This is a good pack. Nice. You're still echoing. I'm gonna push the talk. I was just holding it. Like, accident. Okay. Yeah, wow. So is Titan Auralis Drago a BE, or is it just a... It's awesome rare. Yeah. Because the, uh... The BE Auralis in this is Maximus Fangzor, which which is one I want to get, by the way. I want to pull that at some point. Either that or that uh, Ventus Titan Trox Ultra, I believe that's a BE. Let's see, we've got Mind I know, Slip. I know it's a little early, but what do you think your torture card's going to be this set? God, I have no idea. Second Strike, Shadow Cloak, Flash Flood... Shatterfist. Diamond. Oh, here it comes. All right. So the reason I said that is because apparently, uh, so this is a common Diamond Mantanoid core. But usually people who pull this usually pull a Diamond Web of Ultra right behind it. Hmm. And that's actually not what we get. Instead, it's Diamond Hydranoid. Nice. And then, Darkest Hyper Fangzor Ultra. Pretty. Made of Shadow Strike, 103 for 3. Alright. Then, Hurricane wins as our rare plus. And our Hex is Hyper Pegatrix Ultra. Not bad. Alright. Myth busted. Yeah, that's just... That's unfortunate. 
Yeah, wait. What did, was there a diamond mantenoid ultra? No, it was just mantenoid core. Okay, never mind. Open your stupid pack. There you go. Alright. You know, I'm going to say torture card right now. I know it's a common, but Shatterfist is probably it. Because I've already, I think, pulled a place out of this now. And then Deep Freeze. Diamond Mantinoid. Two of them. Nice. What I, what I meant by torture card was the one card you want to pull really bad, but oh. I was just unable to. It, it would with okay. It would it would show me a lot if I didn't pull. Uh, I think a uh, Ventus Hyperfangs or Ultra, or is it a Titan? I don't know. Stone Blade, Darkest Snare, then Confuse, showing Ventus Phaedrus. Ah, oh, baby, there we go. Diamond Dragonoid Ultra. Pretty. Let's see. Block EV out of the shots. That's nice. Yeah. A nine cost, so that kind of hurts. 1800 B power, though, if you can turbo that out. Hey, more power to you. Blinding Ink. All right. Uh, awesome rare Aquas Titan Pegatrix Ultra. Four cost, ten six. Victor, reveal the top card of your deck, and it gets damage equal to twice the revealed card's energy cost. Alright. And then for the hex we have Diamond Cindius. Alright. Seems like a good box so far. Yeah. And we only I think just Finished the first four um, Garganoid packs. Let's dig into a Gorthion one. Come on. There we are. And we're starting off with an Evo. And what do you know? It's a regular Diamond Sinius. Alright. Then we have Tremor. Hyper Dragonoid Ultra. Yeah. Nice card. Uh, Pyrus Hyper Fangzor Ultra. 3 cost 610. Then Dual Strike. Flame Wave. And then we get into the rares. We have Chaos Curse. Which some people pointed out... Uh, that this art is kind of interesting. If you could focus, stupid camera. It's not going to focus. But it basically looks like a Maxator with part of its armor off. Because the Bakugan have been uh, stated to have an exoskeleton. Alright, Darkest Blitz. Potential plot point. Then we have another awesome rare, Pyrus Hyper Garganoid Ultra. Draw cards until you have as many as your opponent. Uh, that'd be good if you need Fury during the turn, but not when you win. So, yeah. And then, for the Hex, we have Hex. Dark as Hell. Dark as Hell. That's it's happening again. Mm -hmm. And then, he'll be back. So I've got a question for you as somebody who doesn't play the CG. All right. I don't know why. What's your question? So what's the point of including things like diamond base core Bakugan when they also just come with the product anyways? Uh, what do you mean? Like, you pulled the diamond Cindius uh, core, but say when you purchase a diamond Cindius core, it's just going to come with the card anyways. So... Uh... Because you don't need the diamond toy to play the diamond card. Like, uh, I could I could play this diamond Cindius that just popped up on the top here on a Pyrus Cindius core and be completely fine. Ah, uh, okay. That also alleviates some of my concerns in fact, the more pay-to-win aspect of the game. Oh, man. That means Pyrus Cindius, uh, Pyrus Cindius core, unless it comes in a starter pack in Wave 4, is unplayable until Wave 5. 
Oh, that yeah. that hurts. Uh, at least wave five too, because we don't even know if it's coming then. Then oh. one of my friends is in the chat now. Mhm. Mm we have another one, another one. That's interesting. Ventus shield, unstoppable. Then dazzle. Showing off our boy Cabo. Yep. Best boy. Then we have Spontaneous Combustion as one of the rares again. Uh, Trick Trap. I think we pulled these same two already. Uh, right. Super Rare. Pyrus Hyper Serpentes. And then for the Hex, Aquas Hyper Tritonium. All right. Turtley boy. Turtley boy. You know what card I want to pull at one point? Diamond Serpentis Ultra. <laughs> Just because of the seven Frost Strike. Meme deck. Uh, Aquas Frosties could use it, but it's very, very, very hard. <laughs> very, <laughs> very hard to play in Mono Aquas because there's like no ramp. All right. Uh, Atropic Blast. Ventus Hyper Serpentis. Uh, deep Dive. Maximus Gorthion Ventus. Seven cost, reroll once each turn. Darkest Petrify. And Ash Cloud. I think we're onto the rares now. Oh yeah. I can I get I, I can get I can get Aquas Titan Nilius because it's a rare. But I can't get the darkest because it's an elite. That <laughs> and Winton are my torture cards from BB. There you anyway, go. Anyway, yep. Uh, and then I another copy about... of Shargo. We've got the new Lightning, which is a super rare in this one. Ooh. When you open a Bakugan, it gets plus three damage. Uh, mm. I'm not sure why you centered Kuso. Uh, censored Kuso. The, uh... but... In Japanese, it means... Who cares? Um, oh, okay. That's an, old, that's an old misunderstanding, but the fact yeah. that it was an issue. And then, for the Hex, it's Air Zero. Hey, Rose here. Hey, bro. Uh, I know what you, is this? I know you left the server at one point, so you're actually not even on Discord right now. Okay. Yeah. It it ne it never it never meant what people think it means ever. Uh, yeah, I I don't even know if you still have the role to be honest. I think when you dropped out of the server at one point, you lost it, and I don't remember if I ever put it back on. But yeah, all right. This is the last of the first set of Gorthion packs. Let's see. Water to Ice. Darkest Slicer. Chaos Hyper Hydrus. With two Frost Strike native. Aqua Splash. Mind Slip. Well, that's kind of interesting. And then, Second Strike. Again. Uh, Diamond Hydronoid. Alright. One day. Dark, darkest Hyperfangs or Ultra. Then. Ah, oh, yeah. Bakugan Elite Sneak Attack. The first Bakugan Elite action. Six energy. For the rest of the turn, both players may play Evo cards from their hand for free. I'll be honest, this is one I wasn't expecting to pull. Yeah. Trox, look out. Fade Ninja's behind you. Oh no, he's got his AirPods in. He can't hear us. Oh no. And then... Whoop. Hex Shun Kazami. Rolling in the Bakugan. Three cost. When you open a Bakugan, you may draw a card. That's such a weird thing. 
What, that he's rolling an Aquas Bakugan? He's just got rolling in a bunch of Bakugan. <laughs> he's a rich kid, what do you expect? Yeah, he's a rich kid, but like... Yeah, do you not? <laughs> no kidding. Okay, then in this one we've got Deep Dive. Alright. Ash Cloud. Pyrus Hyper Pegatrix. Wow, okay, 8 and 10, but 4 cost seems kind of steep for a Hyper, but that's just me. Yeah, I could agree with that. Yeah. Dark Waters, Ventus Shield, then Dazzle again. Then we have another copy of Titan Nilius. The yeah, Eye, you're just teasing me at this point. Come on. Aurelis Hyper Hydrus Ultra. One cost, 8 6. Uh, they're asking if you can hit the woe, Karmic. Um, I was taught it, so I guess. All right, that answers that. All right, then for this, we have another awesome rare, Chaos Hyper Serpentis. One cost, 6 4. If it has two or more Baku cores attached to it, plus 10 damage. I believe there are cards in this set that, uh, that let you, um, attach cores to it, I believe. And then, oh my god. <laughs> we have the Hex Titan. Again? Hex Titan Dragonoid Ultra. Oralis. Something everybody thinks they want, but they don't actually want it. It just keeps coming up. Yeah. It's beautiful. I can't wait to find out what card becomes the new Titan Fangsor. Of, of uh, Aquas? No, no, the oh, new, no. like, card that you keep pulling. Oh, yeah, of the Pyrus Titan Fangsor. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see what it is. Alright, we got Dazzle. Chaos Hyper Hydras, Tremor, uh, Aquas Hyper Serpentes. Alright. Ruin, recharge your energy cards for one cost. If you've got a lot of uh, high cost energies, that could be, or high cost flips, that could be a little useful. Then Hyper Tritonian. Uh, moving on to the rares, we have Pyrus Titan Gorthion Ultra. 14, 6 for 5. Alright, not bad. Uh, Pyrus Hypertrox Ultra. Uh, 1 cost, 5, 3. When you play it, get the Bakugan plus 3 damage. Then, Darkest Hyper Serpentis Ultra for the super rare. 6, 8. And if you, when you play this, give a Bakugan plus 400 and Shadow Strike. And then the Hex is Dark Path. That is just a Void. That's all it is. A Void. Alright, next one. Alright, Zeta, how about a time check? We're about halfway through. Oh. Let's see. Divine Inspiration. Energy Draw. Chaos Hyperhydrus again. Darkest Slicer. Aqua Splash. Aquas Hyper Serpentes. Uh, rares, we have 19 minutes, okay. Lost 19 at sea. minutes. Uh, Ventus Mirage. <laughs> and then we have Aurelis Titan Tertonium. I don't have Aurelis Tertonium Core yet. I should jump on that. But yeah. And then for the Hex, we have Magma Shield. Monotype booster pack. That would be interesting. Monotype I, booster packs. Many people have said before that uh, that something that would be good is like um like faction packs, sort of mm. thing. Like just full of cards from a certain faction. Yeah. Okay. 
Are there going to be any more starter sets that include a pre-constructed deck? There are only three in the system right now, so we'll have to see. Tremor, Darkest Slicer, Aqua Splash again, Mind, Mind Slip, Dual Strike, ooh, nice art of Drago. Then Second Strike, Dual Strike? No, Second. Mm. Then, there we are, Diamond Hydronoid Ultra. Uh, 8 cost, 19, 8. Alrighty. And then we have another Darkest Hyper Fangs or Ultra. I think I have a place out of these now. Uh, Dark Fortune. Search your deck for an Evo card, reveal it, and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. There's your Evo Searcher. Pretty nice. And then the Hex, Tangle Vines. Minus 800 to the opposing Bakugan, and reroll. Or you may reroll, I should say, because that distinction is important. And we're halfway through, time to move on. I'm a bit behind in the show. Have diamonds been mentioned in anything in Battle Planet yet? As far as I know, no. I noticed all their background art is like space or like cosmic stuff, and I'm wondering if that's gonna. Like... Speaking of diamonds. Hmm? I think I know what, what the new Pyrus Titan Fangs or is for me. Oh no. Again? Yes. Ah, Cynthius. Diamond Cynthius. Welcome back, my old friend. I already have well over a place out of this. Alright, uh, Dazzle again. Hyper Dragonoid Ultra, that's a playset. Oh yeah. Pyrus Hyper Fangs or Ultra, I think that's a playset as well. Tremor. Unstoppable. This deck seems familiar. Alright, Diamond Dragonoid Ultra, there's number two. Alright. Blinding Ink, uh, Dark Fortune, Dark Fortune number two, the rare two packs in a row, look at that. And then for the Hex, Titan, Gorthion, Ultra, and Pyrus. What is a Drago? Oh. <laughs> I, like, okay, she's my friend, she's here because I was like, I like promoted it on... What's up as my status? Nice. Um, nice so, and she's just very confused right now. <laughs> Solar powered, sonic shield, web snare. Uh, was this the one that came with uh, Web of Ultra? Or was it not? Uh, I'm just going to say it is. I don't remember, but that seems like a good card to package with it. It would make uh, sense. Yeah. It would make sense. That would make sense. For it. Flash Flood, Shatterfist, Diamond Mantanoid, and then uh, Blinding Light, Dust to Dust. Our rare is an awesome rare, Titan Krakelios Ultra. Or or Orlis. Pretty. Oh, that's the one we were looking for for a while. The Orlis Titan Krakelios card? Yeah, because no one got had one, so we didn't have a scan of it. Really? Yeah, we do. Yeah. And then the Hex, Spontaneous Combustion. That's a place that is Spontaneous Combustion at this point. <clears throat> I'm looking forward to adding these to my uh, general Master Set collection. Yeah. And seeing what I'm missing. Alright. Alright. Evo at, the no. Evo at the front, Hyper Gorthion, Pyrus, uh, Flash Flood again, Dark Path, uh, Web Snare again, Darkest Petrify. I'm sorry if you can hear that. We could a little bit. And then Ventus Maximus Gorthion, I believe, again. Onto the rares. Thank you! Thank you. Ventus Titan Fangs are. There he is. There it is. That's one I mm. wanted. Now I just need two more. Two more from like, these, last, these last uh, eight packs, I think. Or how, however many this is. Seven. I don't know. However, however many. Yep. Hyper Krakelios Ultra and Ventus. Uh, Pegatrix Drill for the rare. And then for the Hex, Hypergorthion. Hey, we pulled one of these in this pack. 
Yay. All right, the last of the Garganoid packs. They could sell decks that don't come with any Bakugan in the deck doesn't have any evos they could sell decks that way for about fifteen dollars and every deck comes with two awesome rares uh two super rares and five rares one hollow hex okay that's a theory mm. all right let's see diamond mantanoid uh confuse diamond web ultra so there mm. it is it's just a little further it back happened. it's just a little further back but yeah, uh, this one, uh, if you take a look at it, and this we're somehow able to focus at all, uh, 8 energy, 15, 15, it is an objectively better Diamond Maxator, so guess what I'm going to be using in my deck? I just need... Diamond three. Maxator. Yeah, I just need three of these. Uh, Ventus Hyper Serpentise, again. Tangle Vines, that's a lot of Ventus. That is a lot of Ventus. Maximus Gorthion. Then for the rares, we have Mud Pit. All right, and then Emily, new hero. Uh, six energy. When you open a Bakugan, make a Pyrus attack for two damage. And there was a recent ruling where like stuff that gives extra damage to your attacks does not work on these type of cards, which kind of sucks. But oh well. I have to make a deck with this now. This is the new Titan Fangzor. <laughs> it'd, it'd be a good one to do because I'm these might go for <laughs> these might go for money. All yeah. right, and then Hypermantanoid Pyrus for the hex. Yeah, there's the playset. Now the fun part starts. Yep. How many extra am I gonna get? I have eight packs left. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to make a deck with that now, now that I have three of them. Yeah. Like, when I ended up pulling my third Dan Kuzo, I was like, I have to put the... I definitely have to build that deck now. Still haven't done it, but I need to. Tangle Vines, Sword Barrage, Atropic Blast, Deep Dive, Ash Cloud, and Dark Waters. Our first rare is a flip. Lost at Sea. Then Ventus Mirage. Uh, Ventus Hyper Tritonium Ultra for the Super Rare. That is a mouthful. Yeah. Uh, four cost, uh, 810. When this opens, you may swap one of this Bakugan's cores with the opposing Bakugan. In order to do that, both Bakugan need to have cores on them. And then for the mm -hmm. Hex, Chaos. Uh, no, uh, Ventus, sorry. Titan Serpentis Ultra, an awesome rare hex. When this opens, you may recharge all of your energy cards. I don't know how useful that's going to be unless you're playing some reroll actions. To be completely honest with you. Because, yeah. At that point, you probably wouldn't even... Oh, you know what? I know an application for that. Uh, yeah, the reroll cards. Yeah. Like, and then you may reroll your Bakugan. Just roll it, recharge all your energies, and just destroy. Possibilities. And Resurgence is giving us a few really good new reroll cards, too. Mm-hmm. Alright, Magma Shield. Uh, plus three damage, and if you're holding a shield, add double strike. Not bad. <laughs> Chaos Titan Mantanoid, this is a new one, and holy cow, is that a crazy art. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, the Titans are pretty derived from their core versions, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. Pyrus Heat Shield, the boy, Diamond Cindius. <laughs> When am I going to pull, like, a Diamond Sinius Ultra or something? I can actually use that right now. Quick Fire. Uh, Holy Flame. And then for the rare, Aquas Hypertrox Ultra. And then Hypergorthion Aquas. For the 
for the extra I rare, can steal the Aventus, Hi Aventus Hypertrox Ultra, and for the Hex, Oralus Hyper Serpentis. Ooh, pretty. Three energy for a 9-7. All right. Jay That's Allen asks, so what's better, both players rolling or one at a time? Um... I'm going to say both players rolling because it gives you an opportunity to screw with each other. Yeah. But if you're going to do that, be careful. Because if you miss, you don't get anything. Yeah. Whatever this is, it sounds complicated. It's a card game. Yeah, it's a, it's a card game. Mud Slap, Second Strike, Flash Flood, Shadow Cloak, Shatter Fist, Deep Freeze, I Spy, and Auralis Rare. Deep freeze. That is Orlis Hypermantinoid. And then Shargaronian. So I have three of these now. Aquas Titan Pegatrix Ultra again. All right. I won't say no to that. That's actually a decent card. <laughs> and then for the hex is Aquify. All right. We are down to five. Five more packs. This is the last Gorthion. So yeah, so far I think I've pulled, what, two of the different Bakugan Elites so far? Yeah, I believe so. Yes. This so. is a good box. Oh yeah. Alright, Dazzle, Tremor, Dark Path, Dual Strike, Hypergorthion, Pyrus, Flame Wave. It's so weird seeing Evos uh, up in the commons. It's so weird to me. Spontaneous Combustion again. Uh, Trick Trap again. Mind Control as the rare. It's an awesome rare. Alright, not bad. Yeah, it... Re cool reveal, reveal, reveal your opponent's hand, pick an ac action, play it for free, and then put the card in your discard, or your opponent's discard. And then for the Hex is Hyper Hydrus Ultra Auralis. I, um, I really like that art on Mind Control. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Alright, final four packs. Uh, apparently I've been getting Spontaneous Combustion and Trick Trap back to back, except when the Spontaneous Combustion popped up in the Hex. Except for that. So yeah, here's hoping that trend doesn't continue. Alright, next. We got Freeze, Flash Flood, Shatter Fist, Mind Slip, Solar Powered, and then Stone Blade. Alright, I think these are the rares now. There's the boy! Diamond Serpentis Ultra! Sevens all around. Seven energy, 700B, seven damage, seven frost strike. Alright, not bad. And then Diamond so Hydro Knight Ultra again. Sweet. Has anyone asked uh, Ventus Knight why um, Serpentis Ultra is the way it is? Uh, what? Being, like, 1-5? No, the 7s. Oh, uh, no. No, I don't think anyone's asked. Let's see. Darkest Rare is Hyper Gortion. Oh. Hyper Gortion Ultra. Poor boy. And then the Hex is Ruin. Recharge your energy cards. Alright, three packs remaining. And because this is annoying, I'm going to set it aside. I still don't know what I'm going to do with that box in particular, because my Battle Brawlers one holds all of my uh, Baku cars. Oh, that's that's good application, actually. So yeah, not quite sure what to do with this one. Anyway, let's see. Uh, Hyper Serpentis Ventus. Maximus Gorthion Ventus. That's a lot of Ventus. Tremor. Darkest Petrify, good. Dark Still Path. Oh, man, that's fun. Pyrus Hypergorthion. 
And then for the rares, we have Aquas Hypertrox Ultra, uh, Aquas Hypergorthion. We have Air Zero. I believe this is, what, my second copy of this card I pulled? How much air? Uh, none. And then Sword Barrage. Where the hex? Two more packs. Two more packs. Curious to see what we end up grabbing. This one, that one opened kind of strange. But, alright. Chaos Titan Crocellius Ultra. Four cost, 8-8. Eight, eight. That's a common. Alright. It's a nice common. Dark as Hell. Pyrus Hyper Pegatrix. Pyrus Hyper Mantanoid. 36 oh. minutes. Alright. And then Dang Pyrus it. Hyper Gorthion. Uh, we still have more commons. Dark Path. Then going into. There it is! First rare of this pack Diamond Cyndius Ultra. There we go. Um. There we go. Finally gonna put all those Diamond Cyndiuses to good use. <laughs> I mean, this is Cyndius Ultra. So yeah. Oh, well, all yeah. Right. And then, Chaos Hyper Pegatrix Ultra. I think this is my second copy of this card. Have any of you heard of 1v1 battles? Like, only one like of them? You'll have to explain more. All right, yeah. and then the rare is Titan Gorthion Aurelis. All right, and then the it's hex like is Ash Cloud. Um, Last pack. Seven. Last pack. I'd build Bless, but how about Helios Bless? Mm. And let's see what we get in this one. Let's see. A Tropic Blast. Sword Barrage. Tangle Vines. Shadow Cloak. Second Strike. Mind Slip. And then for the rares, we have Diamond Gorthion. Uh, it's a five cost four thirteen. That is a big ouch. Yeah. Because you can imagine how weak its base is gonna be. <laughs> Ugh, that's just not worth it. Resurgence is not. Give it a decent kind of victor thing. effect at least. Two hundred six base. I could see that happening, though honestly I'm thinking it's probably going to be a 100 B power base. Alright, and then Ventus Hyper Garganoid Ultra. Guys, I didn't pull a Titan, I don't think. Unless it's this next card. It, it is a Titan, but it's Titan Serpentis Ultra Ventus. Oh. oh well. And then for the Hex, it is an Aquas. Water to ice. Oh, it was. 206. Yeah. That's true. Alright. So, two of the BEs, meaning the ones I don't have, are uh, Pyrus Hyper Halcor Ultra, Aurelis Maximus Fangzor Ultra. Um, what's the darkest? 39 minutes, 2 seconds. Oh, oh, oh Titan Tritonium Ultra. And Darkest Titan Tritonium. And then there was the Ventus Titan Trox Ultra. Those are the BEs I don't have yet. But yeah, this is going to be an interesting little set to complete. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Not bad. Pull the play set of the best, of the most controversial card. <laughs> I will, I will take that. Yeah. And one of them was a hex too. 
Say that? Yeah. Maybe another time. In fact, that reminds me, I may want to uh, actually do that uh, that video on my main channel if I'm going to be posting. Damn, it's just gonna, like, this is gonna be the new running gag, is Zeta's gonna keep asking you to flex your Baku tech, and it's just never gonna happen. Yeah, at this point. Alright. Let's see what was posted in my stream text. Uh oh. <laughs> Can't watch Bakugan Battle Planet subbed. Why would you want to? <laughs> I don't think there's anywhere that's even subbing it. It's region locked, apparently. Well, the Japanese ones are region locked, but they're not subbed. They're just in Japanese. Mm -hmm. Um. Has anyone guess that, seen guess the that intro? Shows us pathetic Americans. Has anyone seen the intro for Japanese Battle Planet? Yeah, the high high jets one. It's pretty neat. Yeah. I like it. I actually no, but I, I actually haven't. Okay, hold on. There's a shot in a very interesting shot in there. Um, hold on. Let me find it and post it. Yeah, case taste of our own medicine. That is exactly <clears throat> how we described it. Thankfully, VPNs exist. I don't have a VPN yet. Is there any confirmed date for the global release of Bakugan Battle Planet? <laughs> there is no. There is no global release. Uh, <clears throat> places get them when they get them. Uh, Canada got it with us. Australia got it about a month or two later. Uh, the UK, I think, should be getting it in, like, July or something. Uh, apparently, Romania is getting the show, at least, at the end of this month. It's a bit all over the place, and then Japan, obviously, got it, um... Japan got it, but also is being channeled by Takara Tomi, so it's not going to be... So it's, a, so it's a different beast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I put the shot I was talking about in live stream text. You'll you'll see. You'll you'll see it. Yep, there it is. No, but do you see the problem with it? Oh. Oh. Uh, J. Yeah. Allen, J. Allen, that's that's only an unpopular opinion if you're on like the YouTube sphere. Uh, here in Wiki, like a lot of us just absolutely love Bakutech. <laughs> But yeah, just a little bit of an issue here. Yeah. Can anyone else identify the little issue? I don't think it'd be fixed quickly. Well, as a Jewish man, um... <laughs> Not the hand. The hand itself is fine. Well, yeah, but, Zeta... but, but the arm. Yeah. Yeah. Not Not a great look. Like I know what I know what they're trying to do here, but seriously, make the hand a pointer finger. Yeah, he could just point like that. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> that would fix the entire thing, but like, uh Especially when you see like how uh trips uh like kinda acting in the show. Yeah. Good god. <laughs> That's uncomfortable. Like in the hero card, exactly. Yeah. Dance last. Pretty ouch. <laughs> yeah. That's what that is. That's an ouch. All right. There was another thing I thought of that I wanted to mention in this, but I completely lost my train of thought. Um, oh, yeah. Old. Speaking of the show, new episodes are out. I think that happened a while ago, maybe? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah, because it's the beginning of the month. Yeah. So, yeah. 
new episodes are out on the Cartoon Network app. Check them out. I actually haven't gone through and watched them yet, but yeah. Nor I. Yeah, so I'm definitely going to have to do that at some point. This is going to, like, ruin my common sorting with all these being in various places. You know what? Actually, I'm just going to do this. Uh, Set it up. Actions in one. Uh, Evos in another. Flips in another. Yeah, based on what I've... Based on things I've seen in the spoilers, in the, like in the spoiler channel, apparently there's a little interesting thing that happens. I'm very curious to see how that pans out. <laughs> yeah, it's been fairly, fairly quiet today. Yeah. It's actually oh. a little bit of a shame, given it's a Saturday. And a lot of schools... See, it, it might be because, uh, like, several, like, colleges and such are prepping for finals. Yeah. Like, I, like, I know my school... My school has finals, like, coming up this next week. Yeah, this week is... Or this time of year is just busy for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Have we talked about SEMO stuff yet, or was that something? Oh, at the beginning? yeah, we yeah we've talked about SEMO stuff. All right. The fact the fact that he got Whoa. some wave five stuff. Yeah, and just. And I'm I'm jelly. I'm very yeah, jelly. Fan of core or uh, ultra serpentese diamond. Mm-hmm. It kind of a lot of stuff. Like what? Four boxes of cards? Yeah, four boxes of cards. What the heck? I guess I'm sick of admitted that they don't really like sort what goes into these packs outside of like rarities, then I guess he has to get all that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's it's also a don't know how much it uh, shows it that he got like store cases of them. Yeah. So. Yeah. I wonder how they choose to send in like Baku Master stuff because I would think they would like distribute stuff evenly and have them like promote the same stuff, but it seems like they're kind of like throwing darts and picking and choosing different people for different things. Yeah, like. Like so far, the only person I know I think who's been very consistently getting. Uh, stuff has been SEMO. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think anyone else has really gotten things other than, like, the Baku Master Box. Didn't, didn't Kimbo get something, like, a couple weeks ago, but it was just more, like, Baku swag or whatever? Possibly. It could have been the Baku Master Box that, uh, that everyone was getting, because I know Negative Legend posted a video on the Baku Master Box. Oh, they got theirs late, right? They got they got theirs late, yeah. Yeah, because they went to the event. Yeah, and you'd think they would have given it to them there, but instead they just put everything in those backpacks. <laughs> Heard uh, Rage and Cajun got the Drago set for his birthday. He did. <laughs> Lucky duck. I want that set more and more as it goes on more and more the translucent ones yes i'm surprised how many they made and how they're just like yeah just handling it out it's like you get one and you get one and you get one uh jet kuso uh he's been working with the background show if you haven't been watching that he wasn't in the latest episode but he was in the episode prior to that and he was introduced in the episode prior to that <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So he's definitely he's definitely a part. Yeah. If he's not uh, receiving promotional material, he's at least like playing a part in the promotion itself. Mm-hmm. Oh, 
Yeah, dude, I remember uh, Hardcore Lecter went to the California event and posted a lot of stuff there that got promoted. Mm -hmm. uh, Alright, what if they make Pyravian, uh, sorry if I spelled it wrong, but you spelled it right, have a lot of B-power, like in the show where she has 1600, but doesn't have any Evos and has an effect that negatively affects the user? Huh. I mean, I don't think it's going to be that big. I think, if anything, it'll be like a lot of Auralis Bakugan, where it has high B-power, low damage. We already know what cores it comes with. It has a shield and a fist, but we don't know if it has any effects. So, who knows, really. So, oh, DM, what's the thing from Wave 5 you're looking forward to the most? Pyravian. <laughs> <laughs> like, Auralis specifically, or just any in general? Uh, Auralis. I think probably other factions, if they're coming out, are going to be Wave 6. Prob in probably in starter packs. Wasn't there a Diamond Tortonium he mentioned? I was only able to skim what people were saying about it. Uh, Diamond... Diamond Tritonium is in the starter pack. Ooh. So the really rare stuff. Yeah. Guess I'll have to keep my eye out. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Yeah. Uh, if there's any diamonds I'm looking forward to, really it's just any diamond at this point. Yeah, it's... Uh, I hope we get diamonds, because we didn't get any Wave 3 diamonds. I didn't see any Wave 2 diamonds personally. Um... I, I haven't seen any either, and I'm sad. I do live in a mildly densely populated area, and I have actually met another my age back in my fan in real life. So it, it could be other people nabbing them, although I know Wave 3 never really came out, but still. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just a little bit of a little bit of a shame Wave 2 diamonds are so scarce. Yeah. I, I know I've said it before, and I'll say it again, them choosing like either choosing to bump up the uh the rarity scale uh for wave one or lowering it for wave two onwards like reverting it back to normal one of those was a mistake yeah i'm not a huge fan of how they decided to do, to hand out for diamonds which if i'm not mistaken is just uh, in the first case and then ever again? Uh, that's not it. That's not it? Uh, it was... Because you could have some stores uh, that got restocks of Wave 1 that got, um... A, that got more diamonds with it. How it actually is... is I'm not sure what the ratio is in uh, Wave 1 because uh, Ventus Knight has said they deliberately increased it. So that people know that, like, hey, these these exist and they're cool. But in Wave 2 onward, they were dropped to their normal ratio of one item every four cases on average. Man, some of my stores don't even cycle through a case for, like, two months. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and I'm, I'm just sitting here like, that sucks if you want to collect. Yeah. It absolutely although, sucks, and I hate it. Although we had the enormous amount of, like, special treatments in New Astoria, like, one of the things I really missed from that was, like, searching through all the packs and trying to find the cool, rare, different stuff. Mm-hmm. Now it's just, oh, Thought it was one per going. case, not one per every four cases. Yeah, we, th yeah, it is one per case in every case that has one. But not every case has one. Instead, it's an average of one in four cases have one item that has a diamond in it. Now, of course, that is an average. You're still echoing. That, that is, of course, an average because uh, stores in my area have... Like, basically, in my area, I've seen uh, stores go through... Uh, two cases of starter packs and almost stock a third. I've never seen a diamond starter. 
Uh, your town could have gotten them, but they were sold. Uh, Zeta, no, because if they were sold, uh, I would have known about it. Not, like, my, my town, else. my, oh, now oh, peace, right. Could have gotten them, but they were sold. That's what I was, uh, worried about with one of the ones, uh, near me, where I saw exactly one item get sold. And I'm sitting here like, crap, I think I know what that one was. And then I was mad at myself for, well, still now, for not going to check it. Oh, hello, see what I. Oh, he's in here. All right. Well. I'm guessing you have, like, family or something? Family over? I got five copies of Dazzle. That's the dabbing cubo, right? Uh, no. That's, um... Oh, wait, yeah, it is. It's, it's, uh... Sorry it's part that. of it, yeah. Will I there be a, will there be any more that. podcasts? Uh, you're probably watching it. Yeah. Bakugan Wiki Live is kind of our new format. I like it better this way, because I get to be here. Mm-hmm. And honestly, it also lets us interact more with the people. For better or for worse. For better or worse. Yeah. Okay. It's just not on iTunes. Yeah. I don't know... Uh, was the podcast ever on iTunes? I know it was on, like, Google Play, SoundCloud, Spotify, stuff like that. I don't know if it I, ever got to iTunes. I don't remember. It, it was. Ah. ah, okay. So it was. Five episodes, because that's all we ever really put out, was five, like, actual episodes. Uh, and then to let you guys in on a little, uh, a little thing, uh, there was supposed to be other ones. Uh, so, uh, usually it was ones where I was gone, but they, they ended up scrapping it for whatever reason. Ah, the cutting room floor. But it's good to see that people were enjoying it, regardless. Oh yeah, big time. Mm. I hope they continue to enjoy this content. No matter the form it takes. Mm-hmm. How, so the how did you, seven. Diamond Cindius, get mixed in with all my actions? Hmm. No. Just got so many of them. Two were scrapped. Uh. Zeta, the second you said that the number that there were twelve people in chat, the number went down to eleven. Mm-hmm. People just watch the vote. Didn't I? <laughs> okay, donate on Patreon and see what I will force me and Rigatoni to record more. Why just us? I say there's a name missing from there, huh? The old time. What even? Because <laughs> uh, for one, you're you're on you're you're there. But there is there is a name curiously gone from anywhere in that comment. I, that I mean, yeah, that's I true. <laughs> if Bakugan Battle Planet does get a season two, I'm genuinely worried about the power scaling because Maximus is currently the highest potential a Bakugan can go. Power scaling in Bakugan. Huh. Uh, St. Charles, I, I don't know where that's at. Well, we already know it's they're working on a season two, at least. Yeah. If it's to be released, who knows? And we also don't know anything about if there would be, like, possible toys there. But we know, like, 
production work on a show, season two show, has been in the works. Mm-hmm. Why does Luke Pythian look like your fursona? Um... I was just not even going to give those comments any attention, but there you go. Yeah, he's... I don't know. And my friend keeps saying that she's bored. I'm just kind of ignoring it. Well, like the old adage says, don't feed the trolls. Yep. Mm. And me thinks that's exactly what Jay Allen is. Where are you at, Solar Power? After Evo cards, like they're doing with heroes. Or alter, alter here, alter Evo cards. Ah, uh, for a, for a series two, they go back to the other ones? I don't, I don't know about that. Though I'm, I'm honestly hoping that, uh, yeah, yeah, everyone had waved too early here in Illinois. Because you saw how early we got them. Okay. Yeah. So I just don't know what they're going to possibly do with Season 2. Part of me just hopes that, like, no, like, weird gimmicks, please. <laughs> well, I, I... Now that power creep has been brought up, that's becoming something I've been thinking about. Like, we're probably going to get a lot of stuff with these next few waves. I don't know how they're going to, like, keep topping and keep making it interesting while also keeping previous stuff playable. Mm-hmm. Like, are we going to be watching B-Powers just go up and up and up and up? Like Hello all, show? it is I, your favorite uh, Bakugan Wiki moderator. Ooh, and he's loud today. Am I loud? Hey. Uh, no, it's good. You're usually oh. quiet. Um, my family's none of my family's home, so. Ah. Yeah, I can be as loud as I freaking want to be. <laughs> yeah. Which is also why I'm sitting in my room with no pants on. It's very freeing. <laughs> nice. Uh, I know that feeling. Stupid thing. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, so, so I, I don't know if you saw, but during the booster box opening, I pulled a playset of Oralist Titan Dragonoid Ultra. Holy crap. One of them was a hex. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I What's know. the rarity? It's awesome rare. <laughs> Which I got a lot of those. I got I got two of the BEs. Uh, second pack I had, second pack I opened was the uh, Titan Gorthion Ultra and Chaos. Yeah, and was a I really think good the box. I think the third pack or something was the uh, was the uh, sneak attack, the Aquas action. Pretty <laughs> killer. Let's see, I need to go and uh, pull up the live stream chat again because I was on my phone laying down in my bed and I was gonna I was just gonna go to bed, but I decided, you know what, screw it, I can uh I can switch to my computer for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you saw endgame then, eh? Yeah. I I have the potential to spoil everyone here with for endgame who hasn't seen it yet. What, right, see what I, you, were the, you were there the night my sister spoiled it for me. Which DM what she uh, DM me what she? Oh whoa. Okay. Whoa 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 whoa. So I haven't used my computer in like two days, and my sister was the last one to use it, and for some reason somebody loosened my mic stand. Oh, that's not good. Let me uh, mute. Uh, but Karmic, DM me what she spoiled for you. Yeah yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, now, what do we think the surprise news and releases will be at Momocon? Hmm. I don't know. Uh, 
Uh, Melocon's at the end of, like, around the end of May, isn't it? Uh, honestly, at, at this point, the releases are going to have to be Wave 4. Uh, we know the, uh, what, the, are the mats going, the mats are going to be available at Melocon, right? Um. They should be. Yeah. Yeah, see what I, I sent it to you. <clears throat> I actually uh, read a thing on Reddit where someone, uh, like someone, like a complete random stranger, spoiled Infinity War for um. them. So, to get revenge this person befriended the person who spoiled Infinity War for them, and then spoiled Endgame for them. Read, reading this, cool. reading the story already told me a little bit about what happened, but... That year-long plan, though. Yeah, that's, that's the long con right there. Pretty, pretty petty. So yeah, I know vaguely what happens in it, but I don't know the order everything happens in. So yeah. Yeah, Keith, I heard about that one. Where the guy got beat up. At, at this point, people spoiling movies is kind of like a meme. Like, it even happened back in, like, Harry Potter 6. Like, really? Yeah, the whole Snape kills Dumbledore thing. Good time. Oh, like, yeah. apparently there are videos from when the mo when, like, the, uh, I think when the, either the movie or the book came out of someone driving along and just yelling, Snape killed Dumbledore! And then everyone's like, oh, come on! <laughs> yeah, it's kind of meme -y. <sighs> right. I'm almost sorted through the Aquas common actions. I <laughs> shouldn't blame him, he was a manga reader. <laughs> mm. Um... I was just going to spoil a certain anime as a joke, but I don't think I want to. What show was it gonna okay, be? Okay, now my mic's reattached to my desk, I can speak. And yeah, Karmic, that's kind of like, that's kind of like everything in the movie. That's, that's, that's the whole movie. Yeah. yeah, I heard from another friend who saw it already. She went to go see the movie today. That's a good movie. I, even if you don't like, like, like Marvel movies as much. Um, I, I shouldn't say that. If like, even if you're not like completely caught up and you d don't really care, it's still a good movie to go see. Like, it's it's a good movie. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I when I was in Orlando last week, um, like you know we had a we had hotel roommates and stuff, so, um. Saturday night, I someone sent him like that camera with Japanese subtitles that I've been seeing going around. So I've seen like most of the first half of the movie just like watching off of his phone. Oh my gosh! You've yeah. you've participated in piracy. Piracy. We don't condone yo hoing on this server. Yeah, or at least we're not going to tell you how to do it. Yeah. Oh so, uh, yeah, how'd you how'd you get uh, the battle pack early again, DM? 
What do you mean, Battle Pack? Le or not about the, uh, Orlis Titan Dragonoid. He bought it. Bought it. With money. From? Amazon. <laughs> Were you listening when I... At the no, I know that, but it... Never mind. Anyway, um... Anyway. Did anyone see... Yeah, that's on purpose. Did anyone see on the... 15-year-old boy dressed up as Spider-Man who beat up the pedophile? No. Yeah. Okay, so it was a Brazilian headline for, like, a, an article, and it reads, Young boy meet... Y Young boy posing as 14 year old boy posing as 15 year old girl meets child meets a pedophile on Tinder, convinces to go on a date, meets at park, dresses up as, Sp as Spider Man, and beats the, sh the crap out of pedophile. Wow. Dang. It so good. That kid's a legend. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is a sentence. That is indeed a sentence. Mm -hmm. What else is going on right now? Well, actually, another thing I have to do is sort through these hexes. So, guys, have we showed the Patreon enough yet tonight? I mean, uh, you know... Ha has DM showed the Patreon at all tonight? Cause no, we, we no, been kinda... uh, no, not but really. I guess we can, been... guess we can you chill. Should, you should chill for a little bit, DM. <clears throat> If we get a couple more patrons, I'll make DM and Rigatoni and maybe Hado do another podcast. <laughs> Can I come? Um, maybe. We'll see. I'll take it. But yeah, I'll just leave this up on screen. Wow. What is it? I have the stream paused. Patreon. Yeah, donate. But yeah. Um, let's see. Um, I live in Delaware, so if we're, if we're you know, since DM's d done doing stuff, I'm going to go off on a random tangent. So I live in Delaware, right? And uh, if there's a one thing that Delaware is not really known for, but, like, it's, like, one of the only things we have that's, like, big. Okay, we have two things. We have Firefly Music Festival, and then we have NASCAR races. And it is race weekend where here. Um... So, at the Dover Raceway, races are going on, and I work at a Chick-fil-A that is 30 seconds down the road from the racetrack. Mm. Um, so today was the busiest slow day we've had since I've been there, because Saturdays are normally really busy. But it's race weekend, so everyone who's local here is uh, hiding um, indoors as everyone should during race weekend, unless, you know, you're going to the races like a crazy person. Mm -hmm. But, um, and, uh, you know, everyone's out of state. So, um, what ha you know, the breaks in between races, so, at, like, every hour and a half, there's just a wave of people who are hungry. So, uh, so today there'd be like you know a 40 minute lull of like one or two customers every once in a while those poor souls who forgot it was race weekend and then <laughs> uh, uh, every hour and a half just like packed and uh, yeah you said like 20 times out I mean yeah oh no not you oh uh, <laughs> Yeah, Just my friend, the, the, that's my friend uh, in chat, Julia. Oh, they're she's, bored. Yeah, she keeps saying she's bored. 
Oh. If you're oh, bored, yeah. then find something to entertain you. Yeah. But anyway, race weekend. And so... <laughs> and so, um, you know, there's definitely a demographic for uh, NASCAR races, I've learned. Um, you tend to learn who that demographic is, and it's a very specific demographic. I'm not going to mention anything other than that. I'm sure you can piece that together. But uh, mm. it was very fun dealing with everyone today. Um, and especially since everyone's coming from the races, because, you know, drunk people. Yeah. Where's What's the raceway called? Dover Downs. Dover? Yeah. Have you ever been to Dover? I have, actually. See, it's, it's funny, because it sounds like I'm saying something else. If you say been to Dover really fast, it sounds like... I mean, you could just remove the two... But yeah, the Dover International Speedway. Oh boy. Oh, they have a website. Let's let's look and see. Oh, this is actually a pretty decent website. It's built on WordPress. Why hmm. well, yeah, is asking to uh, plug the Minecraft. Plug the Minecraft server. Uh, www.bakuganreddit.com slash Minecraft. Um, Please hold. <laughs> I have eight face, face, Facebook Facebook notifications. I'm just waiting for it to... There we go! Boop! Mm. Wow! R slash back... Why is it not secured? Go to the... Add HTTPS to the front of the thing. I, can't, I hate that not, uh, not secured thing. Not secured. There. I, I thought I, I thought I had it set up for Brave to automatically do that, but no. yeah, I don't know why. All right, R slash Bakugan has a Minecraft server and a website, but we don't, you know. Wow, there's three people on it right now. There's three That's people actually, on. You know, I mean, it's been pretty active. I mean, I'll pop on on like a weekday, you know, super tired from work, not able to do anything, and I'll be like, man, there's like nine people on right now. But yeah, if you play Minecraft and, you know, like Bakugan communities, join the r slash Minecraft server. That's fun. There's some screenshots from the server a little bit down. Right here, this is part of our spawn. Yeah. Then more parts of spawn, I believe. Which Which building is this? Is that the one near the portal? Yeah, it is. This is a little bit of the nether. Wow. Does this work on the, um, on the cross-platform version? No. It does not. This is, uh, Java 1.13.2. Or you can access it on 1.14, but I don't know how successful that is. Yeah, I, I don't... I mean, it works yeah. perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. I don't have a good computer. I'm stuck on Xbox. There's, there's so just Noah Optifine. Is that just, is that just the, the pole? That's the pole. That's the, uh, I think that's the soccer pole. <laughs> oh, why am I not surprised? Yeah. Yeah. Up here. Wow. Look at that beautiful Optifine cape. Who would have such a nice Optifine cape? Right. And then again. Wow. Different angles. Mm -hmm. Look at that ref light reflection. Look at these wonderful... And then how to join if you don't know how to play Minecraft. Download and install Minecraft. Open and click multiplayer. Wow. Click add <laughs> server. Then the IP address is nc.bakugonreddit.com. Wow. Select the server and join. And then you're in. And then there's, of course, 
There's a Reddit. DR slash back to the end of the squared. Has 222 people online right now. Nobody on any wow. of those voice channels. Which is rare, actually. It's been very active. Yeah, especially especially the Minecraft voice chat. Yeah. That's been pretty active. But yeah, you guys, uh, you guys should definitely join if you get the chance. Uh, just to uh, let everyone know, if you do plan on joining, uh, it's not like an anarchy server, like no factions or anything like that. It is all, like, to give you a bit of an idea, it's a lot, it, actually a lot of people have been like just cooperating and stuff. It just, uh, from what I've noticed, tends to be a thing of, like, you walk by, like, you pass by someone, acknowledge each other, and then uh, sometimes just go off to do whatever, and just hang out. Like, I know, like, like I know uh, recently, uh, Hato and Bailey, I don't think they've ever, like, co opted on anything uh, before this, but earlier today, they were... Uh, they were actually working on uh, raiding a mineshaft, I think. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a ton of fun. Uh, I, it's it's been really good for our slash Bakugan because our slash Bakugan hasn't really had a good community backbone, and it's uh, um, you know, given a lot of people a way to connect in the community. Mm -hmm. Speaking of Hado, I see there is a one Lamar Devante in the chat. There is a Lamar Devante in the chat, but he's not Ooh. here because he's a nerd. Probably doing homework. Freaking nerd. Nerd. Also, apparently Bailey challenged me to close Dragonoid Ultra one-handed. Yeah, she she challenged me to close uh, Nilius one-handed, and then I did it. No, I haven't done it. And then I uh, tried doing it on stream with my darkest, and it took ages. Yeah. I am disappointed it took me that long to do it. I'm gonna guess that Hado is doing French homework. Or math. Probably math. I'm gonna guess Hado's doing homework for school. Were we all right? Incorrect? Wrong. Okay. Wrong. Okay. Um, is it... <sighs> so... So it's... Yeah, you're right. We can't guess. Because <laughs> those are the two go-to. Uh, un unless uh, it's for, like, uh, like English or something. English? Yeah, I was about to say, is it oh, English? Yeah, you guys got me. Yeah, is it English? Oh, yep. Is that a Yeah, I was literally about to say, me and DM probably said it at the same time, like IRL. Mm-hmm. Well, hey, guys. How's it going? Sup? <laughs> I'm here. I, I basically missed the meat and potatoes of the stream, but as you guys know, yeah. I am a busy person. Yeah, very busy. Sure, that's busy. what we call it. Yeah. Ah! So, what are we talking about on the stream now? Um, Minecraft and r slash Bakugan. Oh, that's that been pretty be. fun. Yeah. Indeed. I, uh, I've been r slash Bakugan. r slash Bakugan in general has been really fun recently. I will say that it has been. So if you guys uh, didn't like r slash Bakugan in the past, you should try rejoining because it's better now, TM. Mm -hmm. That is uh, part of the reason I actually haven't left the server yet. Also because you're an admin. True. Whatever. That was. That a, reminds me, uh, that was I have to sign up for, for LastPass and I... I completely forgot to do that so i need to do that right now oh yeah i need to pay that on thursday to actually have like the full version and then we have it for a whole year my dudes Whoa. Nice. hold on uh, i gotta I, join i i ended up uh confirming that last pass thing and i still need to do something with that <laughs> yeah you should have access to like admin stuff like... you can't view my password right no oh okay good good and like that's that's one thing I checked. Like, if you're able to view our sa our own individual saved passwords. Nope. And from I what I know, from anything. what I from what I know, it's just like all those accounts are specific separate accounts. Yep. 
everything it's is just separate. it's just lumped on un- lumped under one plan kind of like the nintendo switch uh family plan mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, great. Flips, Hero, and Evas. There we go. Yeah. Sorry that I'm signing up to this uh, a bit late, but... I'm going to say absolutely not. There is no doxing of any kind... Be s- be smart. Do not. Why that... would you send your phone number? Yeah, yeah, fact, actually, not. to be safe, I'm going to mute the chat box so it doesn't pop up on screen. What just happened? My friend is being stupid. Yeah, that would be a very bad decision. Very bad badness. I didn't. Are you kidding me, man? See what I did? You see my Bruh. PM? I did. Uh, okay. Just making sure. I'll try and do it tomorrow. <laughs> You've been saying that for the past week. Okay, yes. However, I don't work tomorrow. Yeah, because tomorrow is uh, everyone, Lord's at Ch- day. everyone at Chick-fil-A's day off. Exactly. It's the Lord's Day, which means no work at Chick-fil-A. I'm trying to log in. Unless, unless there's now. some sort of tragedy. Then, then they go in and you know make food for like first responders and stuff. Oh, hey, I'm on LastPass now. Yeehaw, huh, boys. Yeah. yeah. And he keeps asking me if I want to save my password. How many times do I have to hit it? I've hit it three times. It just, the it just, it just wants to really make sure. Do you, do you really want to save the password? <laughs> We're just making sure. Do you, mm-hmm. do you? We aren't sure yet. Um, uh, let me. Go I'll, into the sharing center. Also, something I'm something I'm looking forward to using is I got two copies of Diamond Dragonoid Ultra. Ooh, oh, that is spicy. But isn't that like a twelve cost? But you get nine, four, fifteen, nine cost, and it's an eighteen twelve. And if you have no cards in hand, plus double strike. Honestly, uh, what's, the, honestly what's the damage rating again? Twelve. Dude, double strike on that's insane. Uh huh. That hits like a tank. But again, you also have to consider the really high energy cost on that. But I will say it's more viable than Diamond Maxitor. Oh, DM, go check your last pass. I forgot to give you access to, like, actual stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's what you get for being from Bakugan Wiki. We discriminate against you people. Yeah, I'm also not going to do it on screen. Yeah, that would be oh, dumb. But why? We just want to know your location. <laughs> uh, remember when I was uh, we were showing some stuff off on Amazon or at least I was trying to look for it, and then I was like oh wait I can't show this because it, it shows sh- cause it, your... show- it shows my location Yeah. Then it's, then it's like I had to do a private browser with Tor <coughs> in order for it to actually not show anything oh, you could have manually changed it I could have uh, so it was pretty nice seeing that video by Simo. Oh, did, he, did he make another video? Did you see the one where he showed off the new diamonds? No. So he got Diamond Serpentis Ultra, Diamond Cindius um, Starter Pack, and he, which has the Cindius and Mantinoid Diamond. Uh, no, Cindius Ultra Diamond, Mantinoid Core Diamond, and then Tritonium Core Diamond. Mm-hmm. And I believe he also got. Um, What's the core diamond? I, did he get a diamond Cindius core? I don't know. But he did get Pyravian, which was cool. Wow. In Oroes. Nice. And it's a challenge level one! It looks pretty I, cool. I only I, noticed that during the stream. I, I, I want to see the stats on that thing, because, again, this is the first um, anime-accurate Oroes we have. Mm-hmm. It feels weird saying anime accurate about Baku. I wonder when they're trying to focus on a TCG. Yeah. A little bit. 
My location is my house. Well, thank you, Julia Grasshopper. That is great to know. Mine is the same place. My house, not your house. Oh, yeah, I don't know why I'm even uh, sorting all these. I'm not even done with this yet. I have a ton more to go. Oh, wait, these are just standard evos. So I went to um, a store called Mastermind. It's a chain in Canada. <coughs> mm -hmm. And they had the most pathetic Bakugan section I've ever seen. Really? Nice. They only had two Ultras on the peg, and it can only really hold two. And it was a Pyrus Garganoid and a Ventus Serpentis. They <sighs> had three arenas and then a bunch of the card packs. But they're selling the card packs for six Canadian dollars. How many American dollars is that? I only speak American dollars. Uh, like hold five on, let me see something. if I can speak American. Like uh, five thirty something. USD here is coming up to load faster, Google. Four point four seven American. Oh, it's... that's that's like yeah. no, it's it's changed. The issue with that price is that. You can go to Toys R Us and pay four dollars, or you can go to Walmart and pay five dollars for a pack. But why would okay, I pay six dollars for a pack? Mm -hmm. I mean, you you're only you're only a little bit off of US MSRP, so. But do I really want to pay that? I mean, you get them cheaper. Yeah, Canada. we deserve it. Mm -hmm. Spinmaster's Canadian, all you know. <laughs> we need a bit of love. <clears throat> So guys, go to Canada and buy all their booster boxes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't don't okay, bother trying to buy their bad because the one Walmart, but, but then one you get Walmart. multilingual stuff. And who wants that? Yeah, Wait, guys, guys. It's funny because I went to a store and they're not restocking on their core Bakugan or Ultras for some reason. They have a plethora of battle packs and decks and the arenas, but then they have two and a half boost uh, booster boxes. Just sitting on the shelf. That's not selling. Wow. And then you can price max that for Toys R Us. Why do they put extra work into making models for anime exclusive Bakugan when the show is supposed to make people want to buy Bakugan? It's very. That's unnecessary. not the point of the show. The show is action cartoon. Yes. Uh, they are not... separate media that are supposed to be able to stand on their own without the other. Now. The thing is, there there are serious. there are definitely yeah. certain shows that are built to sell merchandise. Bakugan, surprisingly, not one of them. It's just a cool franchise. I mean, yes, it's designed to. There, there's other content that Bakugan makes, which is designed to make you to want to buy the toy, like the Bakugan show, and all their YouTube content. Basically, is revolves around making you want to buy their product. But that's not what the, really the show is meant to be. The show is kind of... The show is to establish a recognizable brand. Um, because if you enjoy the show on Cartoon Network and you go down the toy aisle in the store and you see a cool toy on the shelf and you're like, hey, I know what this is from. It's from that show that I like. Or other way around. You find a it's from that toy show. that you like and then, you know... Um, you know, you find a cool toy and then you look on the listing and you're like, oh, hey, it's, you know, the show based on that toy I like. Um, they're not really trying to push them to be uh, the show sells toys because they don't want to they don't want the show to be, you know, some lifeless shell that's like, hey, buy our toys. Haha, -ha, we're cool, right? Now, if the sh if the toys stop doing well, then yeah, the show's probably gonna become a bit more oriented around that. I gotta say, I like how they are handling it, and when they're doing anime exclusives, I gotta say that it's nothing that's really too complex. Like if you look at Bear, that's pretty similar to Pandox. Then there's Boxer and. I don't know what Boxer would actually resemble. I guess it's kind of close to Fade Ninja, if anything, to be honest. But the mm. anime exclusives are toned-down versions of or the, what... Or they just wanted a Bakugan version of Hitmonchan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So I don't think it's an issue with how they're handling it right now, because 
we probably are getting versions of uh, the toys that have been shown uh, in the show. Like, you know, we, we've heard some rumors and that about what's getting released. So, yeah. <sighs> also, um, that reminds me, I have two more episodes to watch. Maybe I will watch the episodes tonight. Oh, I haven't um, caught up. I haven't caught up with him the last bit. I only watched one episode. All right. Well, make you know fun of it. I'm going to spoil Endgame and Bakugan for you. Oh, I watched Endgame tonight. Ah, can't even blackmail you now, my friend. Yeah. You know what would be a fun thing to do is if we like rabbited the like rabbited and did like a community watch of Battle Planet. But we should do that legally with a cable subscription. But no, that's going to be hard but, because, uh, you know, we'd be just as bad. And honestly, we got to support the official release because if, yeah, we, it's... you know, if we actually do watch it on the Cartoon Network app, Teletoon, YTV, uh, I don't think anywhere else in America is actually airing it. Yeah. So, yeah. the problem well, with that say, is, like, like region yeah. restrictions is it technically wouldn't be legal. I mean, we'd, le we'd legally be streaming it, but technically, if anyone watched it outside of the U.S., it would be illegal. But, like, well, maybe we not can't Canada, control that. But... Well, no. Yeah. That was, I was just well, tossing out a fun idea. Yeah. Oh, I mean, there's, yeah, there's, technical, idea, but... there's technical legal things, but, like, the thing with Rabbit is you can't stop people from watching it, so, like... Yeah. Well, we could know, say we it's a U.S. watch party, and if you're in another country watching it, then that's on you, buddy. Yeah. But yeah, I got to say that it's important that we actually support it on Cartoon Network and, you know, whatever other station may air it in America. Because if it has good ratings, then maybe they will actually put it into, like, let's say a better time slot. Because I don't think it's actually in a good time slot right now. Oh, it's, it's not, not in a good time slot in Canada either. Even... Um... So, Although, I'm going to say something. You, unless you have an analytics box hooked up to your cable, viewing it on the network actually doesn't affect ratings at all. Hmm. You have to have a specific exactly. analytics box that you um, have signed up for. That is so, big sad, my friend. So, just your average show watching everything something on TV doesn't actually <laughs> affect any sort of viewership. So... I mean, support the official release, but doing through apps and YouTube and stuff like that is actually more beneficial because that's yeah. all tracked. I don't think I can actually watch the latest episodes on the app. Uh, I, to catch up in Canada, I have to watch it on demand. Does of all Teletoon places. not have an app? Um, let me see if the Teletoon app would have it. Um, but also... I'm trying to figure out, I think it's, yeah, it's Teletoon, which is airing the new episodes for Bakugan. YTV's really behind right now. I believe Teletoon does, here, um, no, uh, apparently there's only a Teletoon on demand, and I don't see an app for Teletoon here, oddly enough. Teletoon on demand? Yeah. Hmm. Like, on, an app? I don't think, no, 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 I think it's just, like, on demand on TV. Hold on, I, I gotta let me check the app store real quick and see what I can find. But yeah, um, it's kind of sad that you know we're we're trailing America, but it's only one station <laughs> which is doing that. I mean, we only have one channel. All right, so Teletoon actually does not have an app, and I doubt YTV is gonna have one either. Hmm. Hmm. Curious. Very interesting. Seems like there may have been something called YTV Go, but I don't see that. We have a family channel app, but that's useless because they don't air Bakugan. So, um, yeah, as you can see, you can't exactly support an app over here in Canada. That reminds me, I'm going to check what's coming up uh, for us in Canada. Let's, let's see what's going on here. Because we should be getting a... Oh, yeah. Oh, no. You know what? It was actually yesterday we got a new episode of Bakugan, which is... Probably at 7.30 in the morning as well. Hmm. I don't even do see... We'll ever see a, uh, do you think we'll ever see a home release for the show? Yeah, definitely. I think we will. Uh, oh, so yesterday we got a real steel and lightning unleashed. 
uh, meaning that there's only one more episode to air from the last block uh, we had. So now I'm going to check for next week because, no, actually, I can't even check for next week. It only goes up to Friday so far. Oh. Big sad. But mm. I think Teletoon's actually airing in it at 11 on weekdays, but it's not every oh, weekday. Oh, that's not bad. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that is, well, I mean, it is kind of bad because no kid is home at that time. Yeah, that's true, but, true. like... That's why I have an issue with how they are airing it on YTV, because they put it in a 3 p.m. time slot. The <clears throat> issue is that 3 p.m. is when school ends. So by the time you get home, you're probably going to miss both um, 12-minute segments. That's wacky, because I know all the schools around here end at, like, 2.30. No, we well, don't. El- elementary I mean, schools down here end around two. Middle schools around like four, and high schools around like three. My well, high school everything's ends around two fifty. Man, <coughs> here, like in my district, I think elementary is around three thirty. Middle school around uh, two thirty, and high school around two ten. And then in. Uh, the other district I sub in, I'm not sure about the elementary, middle school's at 3, and then high school's at 2.30. Well, if you think, like, for, like, this entire county, there's only, like, well, not, I, not, I don't want to say county, um, but, like, for, like, this area, there's only, like, two major high schools for, like, a very large majority of this portion of the state so like you're on a bus for like almost two and a half hours what jesus i cannot even fathom that that is insane right here where i live is the end of the line for the bus so last to get um sorry first to get picked up last to get dropped off and the oh, bus no. doesn't reach here until 4.30. Wow. But, yeah, so honestly, 3 p.m. for my area. And I think, I'm not sure if it goes for all Canada because I know for, um, it was only for kindergarten where you could have, like, a half day instead. But, again, mm-hmm. it's I think it's a bit of an old, just a, like a bit of an older audience <laughs> than kindergartners. And they get out about, you know, like, 2.30 in that. It, it is still a bit concerning because I have the feeling that kids are just going to miss the show entirely, and that's a big issue. Also, they're playing it way too... I mean, I guess it's not too early in the morning. Some kids may be up. I was when I was younger. You know, I would be able to catch a 7.30 show. But I'm wondering how many other kids are actually going to be able to. I was never... Like, when it aired during the week, I was never able to catch it because, like, I had to leave the house around 7.00. And um, when it moved to, like, weekends, I wasn't able to watch it because I was asleep. Yeah, I think that in Canada, we may have had it on Saturdays at 7 p.m. at one point, but I feel like this was during primetime during New Vestroia. So that says a lot about it as well. Hmm. And speaking of that... um, I'm wondering when we are going to hear about season two of Bakugan Battle Planet. I mean, everything's probably in like, you know, pre-production. Yeah. Well, no, we're in production. It's definitely in production. Like, not. Yeah, it has to be in production if season one itself, like animation-wise, is done. Yeah, uh, honestly, it's kind of sad to think that the series is actually... I think I said earlier that it's ending in November from my calculations. Hmm. And it's kind of sad to think that it's going to end in almost exactly one year. I really hate the thought of that because it feels like we don't have enough time to actually enjoy season one. Uh, But I guess that's just me being biased. season one started in... January. Or is, is ending in November, and they're already working on animation for season two. That's actually not... That's a pretty good schedule, actually. No, that is, because they did the same thing for Destroy It to Gandalian Invaders, and then Gandalian Invaders to Mectanium Surge. Um, because I looked, and there's actually, I think, a, a one-year gap between season one of Battle Brawlers and then season two, which was New Destroyer. 
Just to, give, just to give you a little bit of an idea, uh, the runtime for Bakugan Battle Brawlers went from April of 2007, like early April 2007, to about mid-late March 2008. So it's about the same time frame. New Vestroya started a year later, April 2009, and then ended in May 2010. Gundalian Invaders started in May 2010, kind of because... New Vestroya ran right into it, and then yeah. ended in January 2011, but that was also a short season. Mectanium Surge started in February 2011, about two weeks after Gundalian Invaders ended, and then uh, ended in January 2012. To answer Obs Obsith, um, we know that there's going to be 111 minute episodes from what we've heard i'm surprised it's not 104 so it would make it 52 episodes but I though think i've good. i've heard different things i've heard, I've, I've I've heard, heard 100 104. i've I'm heard 100, 100 and i've heard 104 i'm thinking 104 is commissioned and the u.s is getting 100 and those other four are you know either getting chopped or gonna only air in japan Bad. that would be extremely sad and i don't want to have to make another chromapod theory <laughs> Let's hear the chromopod theory, Hotto. We've already heard it. If you remember, VK said that um, uh, Tillman is a background character in a Japanese episode. Oh yeah, yeah. So it's going. Oh yeah, Hotto. Were you over? Were you here when we went over the thing in the Japanese intro? No. DM, you want to pull that up? Do I have to bring that up again? Hado, just check live stream text. I saw and... that. I saw that. Yeah, that. Oh, is yeah, that, that. that's what you're. Yeah, I know what you're talking about now. That was. Yeah. Very huh. concerning to say the least. Huh. Japan um. Likes kind of likes to pretend World War Two didn't happen. So... Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, now you're really going into our territory. Yeah, that's not the scope of this uh, live stream. No, I yeah. Yeah, let's I mean, I mean, I mean, Hitalia is a thing. Well. Look, that's why I said Hitalia is bad to begin with. I mean, just look at the fan bit. I mean, oh, I mean. I don't, I mean, yeah, Hitalia fan base, but the actual show itself, not, it's not I've, actually a horrible show. It's just. I've never actually seen it or any, like, screenshot from so, it. I've just so, heard about it. It's so the fan base is really toxic and it's really bad. But the actual show, every episode is only five minutes, so it's really just you know quick shorts. But hey, it's minutes? not it's not a horrible show. It's just it's a fun show. I it's also just... know the premise, or yeah, the premise and the premise sounds really friggin' dumb. Uh, that reminds me. Hold on, you to check my uh, the mentions. Um, of my name in the server. Oh, um, hold on. No, it's actually October when it's supposed to end, I think. Watch season two have the return of Bakutech. That's mm -hmm. not happening because they're inherently separate IPs owned by separate Okay, people. guys, I found it. So last month there was 22 episodes out, and that means there was only 28 left to air. So we would get four a month. So 28 divided by four is seven, meaning there's only seven months left. So it would end in November but if we do have the extra four episodes, that would add another month to it, meaning the series would actually end in December. Meaning that they could start in January with season two, if that is the case. Just do what Netflix does and release all the episodes at once. Hmm. And then I wait, mean, like, I don't want to do that because if I binge more. it, I'm going to feel really bad about myself at the end because I didn't have enough time to appreciate the series and prolonging the series like this actually gives me a sense of enjoyment. But okay. Well, I like he never said Netflix. he never said you had to. Yeah, that is called temptation, and I'm not okay with Netflix like, sitting like that. I like what Netflix did with Voltron because they released half seasons. They, they released them every four to five months, so you could binge it all at once. Eleven, uh, 100 guys, episodes guys. in eleven months is very rushed, but the show won't be have over in most of the countries because of their weird way of releasing everything. Most people won't see its end until 2020. Well, to be fair, 100 episodes in 11 months is... It would be incredibly fast if they were full blocks, but they're not. 
they're it's a, actually they're really a, they're standard. 11 minutes it's pretty average with um like one 30 minute block a week actually for now for like nowadays that's actually a really long time I'm, it's a I really mean, long time frame one episode it's, especially per like week. like just to give an example when steven universe actually like airs like they air i think what two or three episodes a day for several days no it's like is it no i think they do it in a week-long span or sometimes yeah. it's one episode a day i think you get you get a steven bomb which is just one episode every day mm-hmm. yeah one new episode every day and then they don't air it and then, like and then it di- and then it disappears for several months <laughs> which yep. is something yeah. for more teen titans go uh, I'm I'm happy with how Bakugan's doing because we actually get a new episode every week. Yeah, Bakugan actually gets a consistent release schedule, unlike Cartoon Network's like most popular show. Yeah. Um. Also, you, you know what go? we could do, guys? Guys, here's what needs to happen. Disney needs to buy Spin Master, and then they throw Battle oh, Planet fancy. onto Disney Plus, and we can all stream it legally. They'll they'll just put it on Disney XD, air it. Before or after Pokemon? Oh no! And but guys, uh, appara- if, if apparently, buys... Di- apparently Disney XD is tanking or something. Oh no! Um, or or, actually... or they're getting rid of original programming or something. Uh... No, no, no. I mean, I think on XD, but for Plus, they are trying to bring original program. Also, guys, if Disney buys Bakugan, that means Leah's is a Disney princess. Isn't Leah's that not tempting? a princess. What? Leah's not a princess. I said Disney body. I mean, un- unless Bakugan. unless you count Pegatrix and Gorthion, uh, she doesn't have an animal sidekick. Oh, I thought you were gonna say that Pegatrix and Gorthion were princesses, and I was about to say. Hmm. I mean, Pegatrix maybe. Gor- Gorthion can be a princess if he wants. If, if he tries hard. We enough, all know. We all know that Cusco is best Disney princess. Exactly. <laughs> Marco. What? My favorite Disney princess is Philomena. Bro. Again, not a princess. <laughs> anyway, y'all, I've been up since early, so I'm going to go to bed. All right, I'm actually heading off too, but yeah, yeah. this was a this fun is... live stream. Yeah, this is probably a good place to end it. Yeah. Yeah. Disney, please don't buy Spin Master. <laughs> Disney, please make Leah a Disney princess. Disney no. Disney no. Disney, please buy Spin Master and make the old Bakugan crossover with the new Bakugan. They can't. Or, they like, can't. Release the old ones legacy collection. I will they pay can't. money for it. They, they can't. can't. I don't Me. care. I just want. Mm. Do you guys think Sega would actually like go after them? I mean, it's Sega. They like money. Uh, yeah, but Sega isn't interested in toys anymore. That's an interesting topic for a later day. Yeah, maybe yeah. we'll maybe we'll talk about that at some other time. All right. Well, see you, nerds. Peace. See you. See you later. Well. Anyway, this has been an interesting stream. Yeah. Uh, let's see. A two disconnected uh hado and see what i left i guess we can talk about this real quick speaking of sega have you heard about the sonic movie who hasn't you want to dive into that or i i just have a couple quick comments uh uh first thing sonic is nightmare fuel two jim carrey is a horrible egg man i'm not looking forward to that portrayal and i'm in the minority here and then three, the fact that the director has apparently promised to change the design is interesting to me. Yeah. Um, my biggest issue, I think, yeah, the design is bad. Um, the, I think Jim Carrey's going to be fine. Like, it it's not going to be super great. It's not going to be the worst thing ever. It'll it'll be serviceable. It's, it's he's still a good actor. It's like I I think, yeah I think I think he'll be an okay actor, but uh, Jim Carrey's Jim Carreyness just doesn't work for Eggman. That's yeah. my that's my issue with his portrayal. That's fair. Um, and third, 
I think the fact that they're changing the design this late into the game is awful. Because those animators to be fair, the movie, are going to... To be fair, the movie comes out in six months. The movie does come out in six months, but this is like... This is that time where, like, they probably have a good portion of stuff done, and they're just touching up everything, and like... Crunch time. Pretty, It's going to be super duper crunch. They're going to be... And they're probably not going to get paid anything extra for it. I feel so bad for them. places there we go all right i think that's where we're gonna call it let's see imagine being the animators for the movie trying to convince a corporate brick wall that it won't work and they end up having to work overtime yeah that's that's crunch for you <laughs> Anyway, good stream, interesting topics. Yeah. I just got here. Yeah, you tend to show up late. Yeah. Speaking of people who tend to show up at the very end, I'm surprised Rigatoni isn't here. Right? He's he's the poster boy for that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh... I've almost sorted through all my cards, and then I can add them to the binder. So. Alright, actual, like, last question. Walking Dead USA wants to know what we think about the season so far. Um, I like it. Yeah, it's... It's definitely... I'm gonna say not what I expected it would be when I first started hearing the rumblings that it was going to be comedy focused that yeah. is not the case I've noticed like it's more funny than it than like the other one was but it's still Ooh. it's it's still fine well more more intentionally funny yeah But, yeah. um... And I think just the thing with that is it works. Yeah. I feel like when the, like, when we got the, when we found out it was going to be more comedic, I feel like that was someone just kind of taking a look at the design and general aesthetic of the show. Not actually, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was, granted, very worried when I oh. saw that it was going to be a uh, comedy focus. I was like, oh, God, here we go. But yeah. it was fine. Yeah, it's for kids, and I sit with that, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Alright. So, we are actually going to call that here. Thanks for joining us. Alright. That is myself, and then KarmicBead7193. Follow him on Twitter at KarmicBead7193. Thank you. And I've then... got a... There's, if I might uh, just tease something real quick. Um, there's something that a bunch of friends and I have been working on. Uh, I can't talk about it yet, but I'm voicing in it, and... It's going to be coming out soon, and yeah, look forward to it. Neat. And then there's Dank NASA memes. Ooh. Hi. Bye. That was late. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for coming out. See you hopefully next week. Peace out.